This is not a traditional Indian restaurant in any way. I create restaurants for people just like me, you know? And so I, when, I, when I sit down and create the menu, I think about things that I would enjoy. Well, we have two sides of the menu. We have a, one side of the menu that's called In Tradition. It's a handful of the items that I ask my family, my friends who really love Indian food. I said, what are the things you always order? So we knew that we had to have the favorites. And then our creative side is the Indo-American, which means more American food with Indian spices. There's a lot of people who haven't tried Indian food, so they're the first timers. So this is a great place to come if you've never had Indian food before because it's a little lighter, a little fresher, contemporary. It's not as intimidating. Typically, one person at the table loves Indian food and they've brought their three friends who've never tried it. What gives me so much passion for this business is being able to create an experience or take food and have them love it, have them taste that food and see that wow in their eyes. You say that Virasway is modern Indian but done right. Tell us why you chose it. It's done right. You know, first thing I think of when I think of Virasway is the ambience, the area. Randolph Street is restaurant row. And so getting there is part of the experience, just getting, um, I'd say park about a block or two away so you can actually kind of walk down restaurant row, see all the people, all the restaurants. Um, this is a place that you want to take somebody that hasn't experienced Indian food before. Uh, they make everything really accessible. Uh, it's really good mild northern Indian food and they've got a really interesting mix of selections so they even have the kind of Americanized Indian food I think I had the uh, the non burger <laughs> right? so, and they, they take the naan and they wrap it up with the, 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 the kebabs and the sauces and the onions and so forth and it, it's a really good experience um, great drinks um, interesting drinks they do some infusions of Indian spices into your traditional martinis or margaritas or sangrias and um, kind of a hip environment. Well, as Kamal and I will tell you, a lot of Indian restaurants have the, you know, the swan in the glass. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. That's very classy. Right. Exactly. There was no, the golden, red, yeah. there was no golden red decor. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> On the walls. <laughs> so it just so happens that this was Larry's first experience with Indian food. It was. Yes, it was. What do you I think, was, Larry? I was a little, little, <laughs> little trepidations about having Indian food. because, <laughs> because see, a lot of people are scared of trying Indian food. Yeah. I mean, you know, Kamala and I are obviously both Indian. And when we tell our friends, hey, how about Indian food? They're like, no. Yeah. Well, you, you, know, <laughs> you, you hear about curry and you hear about tomato and you hear about all these spices and really they're very interesting mm -hmm. they they create they create so flavors scary, though. <laughs> <laughs> you're always afraid of something you don't know I mean, you know it's 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 just that it's just felt like freaks growing up it's, <laughs> like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like these little bags of spices that you see and you say curry and turmeric and you know what is all that stuff but so, it was it's it, it's always the spices that you're always in the back yeah. of your mind you, what am i getting into so ginger you've had indian food before was yeah. this your first time trying sort of a modern twist to it I think so, yeah. I had mostly had, uh, you know, something that would probably really sc be scary because it was definitely, the, maybe it was more southern, I wouldn't know the regions, but um, this was easy, easy going, and I brought someone who had not yet had Indian food, so it was a good experience for me to see that and to maybe experience through him. <laughs> so yeah, it was, and it was, it was delicious. We started with scallops, and that was probably my favorite part of the meal. It was a special that they had on their special um, appetizers, and it was, they were so well done. I'm, I cook a little. I'm not very good, but scallops is something that I have, have yet to master. And I love them. I like to eat them. They're a difficult thing to do right, I believe. And they did it perfectly. They were just toasted on the end, and it, they were delicious. And then they had beautiful little accoutrements on top. You know, I don't know what, what was what, but it was beautiful, and, and you felt like it was special. We had... Um uh, salmon that was absolutely grilled beautifully, and it was in a it was in a turmeric broth, which was extremely interesting. They're big on on breads. Mm -hmm. We had this flatbread that had goat cheese and tomatoes on it, and onions. It was delicious. Come on, okay, good enough for people who've never had Indian food before. Right. But what about us, like hardcore Indian foodies? Are we gonna like this place? I think you will. Uh, one of it's almost Indian comfort food in some ways. Uh, the appetizer we had was bindi chaat fry. And so in North Indian households, bindi is okra, and okay. it is a staple. And as you mentioned, we grew up in the restaurant business, so 
I know a good bindi, and you can really mess those up. These guys, they really, <laughs> really think. too thin. dry exactly. or too slimy. Exactly. <laughs> and, and so they sliced them up perfectly. They were lightly fried. Right? <laughs> and it's a perfect, you know, kind of finger picking at food. Mm -hmm. Their chicken tikka masala is one of the best dishes, which is a traditional staple, right? Another yeah. one for the, all the... It's a national dish of England. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. I don't know, but that's the, interesting. The menu said that. I think the menu was the best. That's where I felt comfortable bringing him in because it was so easy. He didn't have to ask me constantly. I wouldn't have known what, you know, I forgot the word already that you just said. Bindi? Bindi. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have known what that was to tell him, but it would explain it very easily. Do you think sort of this modern twist on Indian food, are, are, you, are you happy to see this? Or do you feel like, you know, if it's done right, I guess, so to speak? Right. I was skeptical. Yeah. Uh, I have an issue with so-called gourmet Indian restaurants because to me, you know, I go home and I get gourmet Indian food. <laughs> um, but these guys have done a good job. Well, you see a lot of, you know, I remember the first time I went to England, and modern Indian restaurants, you see them in every corner. Yep. And it seems to be now hitting the States now, where you're starting to see, you know, the non aritas you said, or the non witches, and you're starting to yeah. see more modern, you know, it seems like in the last year or so, especially in Chicago, you see a lot more sort of modern Indian restaurants opening up. So, so Larry, you came, you saw, you conquered, you ate. <laughs> you know, for those non-believers out there who still don't want to try Indian food, what do you say to them? Try it, you'll like it. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> Mm -hmm. you pick Vera Sway, give us a summary. If you want good Indian food that's urban, hip, uh, with a nice drink selection and fabulous desserts, Vera Sway is your choice. Larry? I found it a great introduction to Indian food. Great place to go. Ginger? Yeah, it's a great place to try it. You know, it is very streamlined. You can get in and just like the other restaurants on Randolph. And you feel like you're at Randolph, so you can get there easily, park, and you're out. Well, you can try the masala and much more at Vera Sway. 844 West Randolph Street, 312-491-0844. They are open for dinner every day and lunch only on Friday. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is $25.